If I may, if I may ask you this question, if you look at these results, uh, of course, I know this should be familiar to you, Senator Milai. Uh, this is uh, the sheet, uh, the result sheet from INEC and the official stamp from INEC. This is the result uh, of the election which brought you into office as a senator. And if you look at the alterations and, and how th these alterations of the figures, are you concerned about these figures? Isn't it embarrassing for you that this is a result sheet that brought I, you into office, Senator Melai? I am telling you that that document is, was mutilated after stamping it. <laughs> that document is not an original copy you are holding. <laughs> and it was mutilated by Smarter DME. And that is what this DSS report contained. This is what I did. Uh, all right, let me allow Senator Smart to uh, add me to, to the tribe. Just a moment, if you take it. You, you heard what uh, uh, Senator Melai has said about some of his response. On, what would you say to Well, well you know, when two people are speaking, every man has a conscience. When you, when you listen to two people speaking, you can draw the conclusion as to who is speaking the truth and who is telling lies based on what we are saying and our antecedents. Our antecedents and what we're saying will let you know who is speaking the truth. There's no problem. What I'm saying now is, see, he has denied that that was not his voice. The solution to save the judiciary is to talk on, to call on the CGN, the EFCC, the State Security Service, the Minister of Justice, for that state to be investigated. Have you petitioned any of these agencies the peti the petition to, to, get to, to, to prove? In the next few hours, it is for them to save the judiciary. We have come of age. Nigerian judiciary is one of the best in Africa. We have judges of high integrity. But like I said, in every 12, that's a Judas. So we should investigate this to save the Nigerian judiciary. Right. Uh, Senator Melai, some of, your, some of the people in your constituents uh, are asking for your recall. Are you scared of that? I am not scared. I am not perturbed. They are sponsored by Smart Adeyemi and my governor. <laughs> and I want to tell you that those who came to even ask for the recall are not my constituents. And it is unfortunate that they do not even know what to do. INEC told them to go back and do what they are supposed to, to, to do. I was in the village yesterday, and I challenged Smart Adeyemi to walk with me on the street of the constituency. I will walk and let him come and walk on the street of the constituency just the way I will. And he's there talking about integrity. I have never taken contract from Kogi State. He got the contract to do the road from Iyara to Odokoro. He never did it, and we are going to start looking at that. He got a contract for the township stadium, and sorry, uh, for, for the township road in Mopamro. He never did it. Let him point to one contract I have done in Kogi State or anywhere in this country. If he's talking about that incident, we should begin to ask ourselves, who, is, uh, who, who has, he has a contract that he was, he was given by uh, Governor Dili in, 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 in River State. He, he abandoned that project with equipment. That matter is still pending. But now we will help him to reactivate all these issues. We are, I am a transparently honest Nigerian. The reason why he and the governor is fighting me is because even today, just today's paper, today's vanguard, you will see where NLC is already threatening that Governor Ayabelo has not paid workers for 15 months. It's here in today's vanguard and it's in most of the papers last week and or, uh, uh, before now. What I am asking is that workers in Kogi State must be paid. Pensioners in Kogi State must be paid. Our institutions of higher learning, from the university to the Polytechnic to the College of Education, as I speak to you, have been under lock and key for five months. Uh, and the Sen government Senator, is not passed Senator Melai, yeah, yeah, but, uh, if I run a quickly, uh, well. just ask the you reason this. Why, the reason just why they're fighting me is because I'm asking for this. All right, Senator Melai, hold on. If you, if you listen to no, some, I, I don't know if you've heard some of the sound bite of some of those uh, agitated for your recall, those who are saying that, uh, some of them say they are ashamed of you being their senator. Some of them say that uh, your attitude and your behavior are on the floor, they're not happy with it. Those are some of the placards, some of the things that we see, uh, and that, those are the things that they've said in some of the soundbite. And some people are saying that you have not really attracted any benefit to them. There in the Kogi West Senatorial District, who, uh, where you represent in the, in the Senate. Um, can I quickly respond to that? Go ahead. Um, um, am I online? Okay. Um, I want to quickly respond to that. To start with, Dino Melaye is the Senator of the Year 2016. It was not given <laughs> on the shelf. As I speak to you with, uh, with, um, with every sense of humility,
I have the highest number of motions and I'm one of the highest presenters of bills in the National Assembly, in, in, in the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And in the area of representation, you cannot fault me. And I want to also say that in terms of attracting projects, recently the same Smart ADM sponsored people to say how can FCT be doing projects in Kogi State because I, through the instrumentality of my um, uh, uh, projects, used the FCT to, uh, as, 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 as an area for the discharge of my constituency project. I took projects to every local government of my federal constituency. As I'm speaking, as I'm speaking to you, some of the projects are about to be completed. Yet they said, you have not done any projects. Uh, One uh, of the uh, I will allow Senator Smart at the ME to respond to some of these. Uh, you, are, you, you both are on the ground. You're talking to your people. Senator Smart at you heard some of the things uh, your colleague had said there, Senator Dino Melaya said. Are those well, far from well, the... Well, I just want him to know that I'm, I'm happy with what he has said. He's going to prove that in the court of law as to which country I took in River State uncompleted and the one I took in Kogi State that are uh, uncompleted. That's, that's, that, that's number one. Number two, let me tell you. You see, democracy is a government of the people, you know. So, so you don't have to make too much noise. The people know those who are representing them or those who have represented them with dignity and honor. I'm privileged, I was privileged to represent Kogi West, where we have over 550 professors scattered around the world. So it, it was a real privilege for me to represent them. And many of them hope that I will come back for a third time. We are a well subjugated people in Kogi West, people of honor, people of integrity, people are highly educated. They do not envisage a situation where a rascal, a jeju, a give me this, a ragamo thing will represent them. That was not their imagination. Who is that person? Well, well, you, your guest can be as mine. No, I don't because, have a guest. Because, because my people wanted uh, somebody who will, who will represent them adequately. All right, so, Senator, so, so they assume that. But uh, in any case, let me just tell you this. That it is not a problem. If somebody is making a claim that is the best, is doing well, it's the people who decide. Yes, okay. Uh, so. Because we'll take a moment. And when we return, Senator Smart, I mean, will be telling us if really he was behind that audio tape, just like Senator Dino Melaya has alleged. That's going to be after now. Join us again. <laughs>